welcome back to my channel so today i'm bringing you another vlog and it's going to be a travel vlog so it's actually me going home um, i'm currently packing up my stuff right now let me show you so it's my big case my small case i've got a bag to take on because i need to edit on the plane i actually have two videos to edit on the plane my shoes that i'm wearing and my makeup so i somehow need to fit this in here and shut this up um not really sure how that's gonna go my flight is about 9 p.m i think 8 p.m 9 p.m i'm not really sure um something like that i think it might be half eight i'm not really sure though also I haven't done my hair yet so please excuse that i just quickly did my makeup because i wanted to pack my makeup but now i've somehow got to fit this in the case and shut my cases and i also need to like clean my room a little bit because yeah it needs to be clean let me give you a little room tour i feel like i haven't given you a room tour obviously you see like most of it anyway but let's just give you a quick room tour you come up the stairs and this is your view when you walk in and so basically obviously there's my bed dressing table and um, robin actually decorated this room originally so that's why it's all pink and marilyn and everything the aircon up there which is actually a lifesaver i have a balcony this side and another one this side and then this is what it looks like so this goes upstairs and then i've got obviously a chest of drawers a tv not that i've ever used that tv and then in here i just have like my wardrobe and then here is my ensuite um so yeah there's my mini room tour so now is the fun part of trying to shut my case okay i just don't know where to put them I don't want things to smash, so I'm going to put them elsewhere so they don't smash. I'm not even going to lie to myself and think that I can do that because I can't, so I'm not going to do that now. Um, I'm just going to... Now I'm going to sweep my room because it needs to be clean. I can do it. I'll do it. Just leave For some reason, Dad wants to do it, so we're not going to say no to that offer. Get a bucket and map. Hey guys, who said I'm not a domesticated queen? Who said that? Because I am. I'm clearly a domesticated What? Domesticated queen. I'm just cleaning all the floors of the house. And next up is my room. So hot. I just know when I go back to England it's going to be freezing though, so not fun. But I kind of miss the cold weather. I just want to wear a jumper and it be acceptable and I don't be sweating so I'm actually excited for that and also guys I'm going to be with my babies anyways I'm getting sidetracked I'm going to clean my room also managed to shut my suitcases there's one of them the other one's downstairs um, already all packed had to move some things into that one because the other one would not close but it's fine just needed to move like two pairs of shoes and it shut fine but yeah I'm going to clean my room also, I just wanted to answer a few questions that we always get about the villa. So we always get like, whereabouts are you in Spain? We're near like Porto if anyone knows where that is. Like we're in the Marbella area. Um, so yeah, that's that question. And also we always get questions like, um, how long have you had your villa? We have had this villa for, wait, I gotta work this out. I think, I think it's been nine years of this summer. I think it'll be 10 years next summer but yeah we've had it quite a while and basically we went to egypt and then we came here straight after when well, no, we went home and then repacked came here just for like a holiday um but my dad wanted to look for some vi like for a villa anyway we we actually stayed in a villa that's like right near us it's literally like 10 doors up and we looked at loads of villas around where well, my mum and dad did and they didn't find any that they really liked that much so they they liked them but they kept coming back to the one we were in obviously we couldn't buy that because the, there was some that owned it and like we were just renting from them but then we ended up finding one that was for sale and we basically did it like we basically bought that one so yeah we've had it for nine years so if you put that in context Amelie's been coming here since she was five um, I've been coming here since I was 11, so we've literally grown up, like, we, we've literally been every single summer since then, I think. I don't know if we've missed any summers, and, like, also more than that, but, like, we've come out normally, like, six to eight weeks of the year, sometimes more, sometimes less, obviously, with COVID, it's been less, we haven't come out the whole year apart from last summer, because, obviously, we was in lockdown and stuff, but, yeah, 
we do own it as well because I got I get a lot of people like in my comments like guessing like someone will be like oh do they own the villa and then someone's like no they don't I'm like how do you even know that because it's wrong but anyway yeah we do own the villa and yeah that's that's the context of the villa babe but yeah I'm gonna um keep mopping I've got to go do the next floor so see you guys in a bit just accidentally zoomed in that was not okay anyway um hi so i've straightened my hair kind of like I, I didn't i've literally put barely any heat on my hair out here like i barely ever do anything with my hair I just like having it up because it's always so hot so putting heat on hit on it out here like i just get so hot doing it and also like i just don't really do it as much which is obviously really good for my hair so my hair's probably really loving life and it's we're gonna hate life when it gets back home but anyway because uh, i do use heat a lot at home and i try not to but now i feel like i'm gonna wear my hair up a little bit more i don't know i don't know we'll see what happens i obviously love spain but there's one thing in particular that i'm gonna really miss this is genuinely just the best and I love it so much and I literally just gonna miss it so much. I literally have another one of these downstairs and I have like half a bottle left. So I'm probably gonna be peeing out chocolate milkshake by the end of today, but we don't care. We don't care, we thrive. So we're just gonna have some lunch and then we're gonna let I was gonna say lead off for the airport, head off for the airport. Yeah, all that good stuff. I will see you in a bit. I'm gonna go get another one of these because I'm obsessed. Okay, so I mean, I only just watched another episode of Out Banks, and I'm now collecting my things. We're leaving in about half an hour. Oh my god, that's so heavy. I need to shut my shutters. Hi, Spain. Actually, more emotional than I thought I was going to be, but I am definitely ready to get home and to see my babies and my sister. So, yeah. This is quite emotional. Right, I've got to carry the sun's dead, so I'll see you in a bit. Hi, everybody. So, we're now in the car. It's a pretty full packed car, if you can't tell. We have no space. But um, we're going to go to the airport now. Just wait for mum and dad to lock the house up, and then we are leaving. How are you feeling, Nam? Excited to get home. Oh, yeah. I just want to be home now. I hate this whole traveling thing. I just want to be home. Same, but I'm doing that holiday dad um, mode activated. Emily's doing the holiday dad TikTok, so. Dad is definitely going to have a go at me and I'm filming him whilst he's stressed. Oh. Anyway, yeah, we're going to head to the airport, so we'll check in when we're there. Bye. Bye. Literally check in when we're there. Pardon the pun. So we made it to the airport. Mum, say hi. Hi. Airport dad activated. Anyways, we have all our cases, everything. We're giving the baby back. She's been a good one. She's white, roof, black. Thing. I don't really know what car it is. Um, a Crossland X. So now we're gonna go and check in. So we made it through security and I um, think I'm gonna get this from Duty Free. It's Smirnoff Vodka, one litre. I think I'm gonna get it for uni because it's literally like a tenner. It's so cheap, so I'm gonna do that, I think. Um, but I'm absolutely sweating. It's been so like busy and just the air con is just non-existent. Like I'm literally sweating. But oh my god, that looks unreal. Grapefruit vodka. But there's none there. What a shame. They now have a pasta here, which I'm so happy about. They have a mango paradise. I'm gonna get that. I thought it was a mango passion fruit, but I just can't read. I'm clearly blind. But look how good their food is. So yum. This is what it looks like. That's good. Not as good as England, but it's good. How is this? You okay? Are you? How are you feeling? Good. I'm in some Instagram pictures currently. Ready to fly home? Yeah, I'm bored now. Same, I'm ready to fly home. How long have we got? What's the time? 7.51, so less than an hour. Too good. No. We're flying an hour. Here we are. It's all pink, it's kind of cute. I've actually put my hair up because can't bother for it anymore. Fed up. Wanna be in home? Wanna be at home? I bought a hairbrush with me. Did you? You didn't tell me that. I was just struggling to put my hair up. We're taking off, baby. Oh my god, that's the best thing. Best thing. It was good while it lasted, right? Adios. Yeah, it, it was, was good while it lasted. I'm always this side of the plane. I've never been that 
outside. And what are we watching now? Sorry. We're watching Out of Banks, episode two. Fans <laughs> on your back. I know. It's meant to be like that. Here we are. She's finally convinced me. I love Sarah Cameron, she's so beautiful. Guys, look at the sunset. So we're landing. Guess who cried half the flight? <laughs> I just can't. I had two videos to edit and I haven't even edited the one. And I'm just stressed out because my laptop just literally wiped my whole Final Cut Pro. So I've lost things. I have no storage again. What are you doing? Stop pulling it. Or I'll cry again. <laughs> it's Pisces in me. I can't remember. Gives me no blooming sympathy. I do. Anyway. <laughs> Guys, guess where I am? I'm back with my baby! Yay! Yay! Look who it is No, no fighting! Bluey! They're just play fighters, by the way. But we are reunited with our babies! And it's literally 1 am Spanish time, 12 am English. I'm shattered. How are you feeling, Nan? The dogs were so happy. They were so happy. I just can't, I miss them so much. Fanta! Fanta's really hungry, he's following food. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm gonna cut this vlog off and I'll see you guys in the morning. Bye! Hi guys, so it's actually a couple of days later. So, what is the date? I don't even know, it's the 24th. Yesterday was actually Robin's birthday, she vlogged her day. So you should go check that out if you haven't. Anyway, um, I just wanted to quickly pop on and end this video. I didn't actually vlog the day after because what was the day after Sunday? So I've actually been back like two, three nights. Three nights. <laughs> Can't do maths. And honestly, I've just had such a whirlwind. Like it's been a bit of a shock being back in England. I can't lie. Like I've had to sort out so much stuff. I don't know if you guys follow my more of G on Instagram. It's basically like a BTS. So go follow it if you want to see more of my hectic life. But anyway, um. I had a bit of a nightmare because I lost loads of footage on the plane. I've actually found something that I did back up, so thank God. But I've just had to re-edit a whole video for Emily because I lost it. My Final Cut Pro just wiped and basically my laptop was so full. It just started clearing my Final Cut. I don't know. I need to turn something off because that is not okay. I don't know. Just every little thing seems to be going wrong. And I also think I'm doing my period, so I just keep crying. It's also a full moon, which apparently makes you cry even more so like i'm just an emotional wreck like i just need to sort myself out um but yeah just it's just been a couple of those days where i just can't seem to catch a break but it's okay we're moving forward and i'm trying to be positive i've actually been working out i worked out yesterday and today so that is really good also love island final was last night a little bit gutted with the result but i mean i can't say that i'm too shocked i thought it was gonna go that way didn't want it to but i did think it probably would have gone that way so um, Millie and Liam did win, but obviously I really love Mi Millie. Like I, she's been one of my favourites from the get go. Um, but I just think Chloe and Toby were so entertaining and just jokes. I just wanted them to win, but you know, hopefully they'll still stay together. Hopefully they will stay together. What's happened? I had a Chinese takeaway last night. Really good. Really enjoyed that. Might have some of that for lunch because it's actually three p.m. But well, it's two fifty-seven, and I've not even eaten breakfast yet, so that's not very good, is it? I went to the gym straight away and I was I'll eat after, and then I had to quickly do this editing for Emily, and it's just been. One of those days. I hope you guys have all had a great week and I will see you guys in Monday's video. Bye. Oh, also, thank you so much for the love on last Monday's video. If you haven't seen it, make sure to check that out. And yeah, I'll see you all guys. What? I'm so tired. I will see you guys all on Monday. Bye.